these are the parts of the motorized supermarket trolley this is the motor and gear unit this is the battery this is the carriage unit now let us see the assembling of the motorized supermarket trolley lift the motor unit and the carriage unit the lock hook and the groove should be placed correctly notice that the yellow color lock is then placed now insert the connector inside the fixed pipe and then the flexible pipe is put into the fixed pipe connect the male and the female connectors and place it beneath the lock safely the lock is placed vertically now place the battery unit on the velcro given and then twist the lock to fasten the battery the battery and the flexible pipe are tightened using the knob the motor unit is changed to the motor mode the supermarket trolley is ready for use let us see the charging procedure for the motorized supermarket trolley the charger is connected to the mains connect the female socket into the male socket of the charger this is the charger the male socket is inserted into the female socket notice the arrow mark upside and insert it into the female socket switch on the mains and note the indicator the yellow indicator indicates that it is charging a green indicator indicates that the charging is completed and the red indicator indicates that there is no charging This is the motorized supermarket trolley with a load of about 100 kgs. This lever shows that it is in the motorized mode. The ignition key is placed in the switch. the reverse throttle lever is pressed
Changing from motorized mode to manual mode. This is the manual mode. When the key is again inserted, when the key is inserted during the manual mode, the alert is produced. Change back to motorized mode and then insert the key. When, the mo when manual mode is enabled with the ignition key in the switch, the trolley produces the alert. Remove the ignition key and place it back again in the switch for the alert to be stopped.